Hey y'all, my name is Ashley and today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on some drugstore makeup. I'm also going to share the other products I hauled from the drugstore and if that sounds interesting to you, then keep on watching. Okay, so I already tried to film this as just a haul, okay? And what happened was um, I went to go like edit all the footage and have it up for you and I actually planned on having this video out on Wednesday. I went to edit it Tuesday and there was no audio. My mic was on, but I went to go look and when I flipped the viewfinder to look at me so I can see myself in the camera, <laughs> I must have unplugged the mic because like the cord squiggles down and goes right there. So I am refilming this in a different style. I am going to be applying a lot of these products as a first impression. A lot of the products I bought is mostly base face items. And then I'll show you the other items I hauled because obviously my eyes are done, okay? I did a Star Wars Get Ready With Me that was posted yesterday for you. Yeah, on May the 4th. So that is how I got the eye look. If you're interested, go ahead and hop over there after you watch this video and see what I did, what I used, and listen to me kind of blab on about how much I love Star Wars. But I need to prime my face. So, my desk is also, my desk is such a mess right now. It's not even funny. Oh, you know what? BRB. So I was gonna go with my original, like my, like, you know, my go-to primer, but since all of these products, I think majority of these products, I'm gonna go with like 92% are from the drugstore. So I'm gonna use a drugstore primer today. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Power Grip. I wanna use a primer that I know and I love. And I do love this one. I did a first impressions on this primer a long time ago where I compared it to the Milk and they are comparable. In fact, I think this one's just a little bit more sticky. So I'm gonna use that on my face today. Oh yeah, this is more sticky now that I remember. Gosh, damn. I forgot how sticky this is. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to quickly add my pore filling primer, which is not from the drugstore, but it won't take that long. I'm, I use this one all the time. It's the Blur Jam from Glowish. This stuff is great, and I really just need to put it on my nose. First product. I actually have two different shades of this first product because I ordered one off Amazon and it was just a little too dark, and that is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. So I got the shade Medium Tan 5 off Amazon. Um, luckily, Amazon has like free returns. So if I don't like this product, I'll send it back. But I'm not going to use this one today. This is going to be more of my summer shade. So today I'm going to be using the shade Medium 4. And I actually picked this one up at Target. Now, this isn't new. Um, I'm sure a lot of people already talked about it. But I haven't tried it. And apparently it's a dupe for... Holy cow, I can't open this. That was a struggle. Okay, so I picked this up because I'm curious. Now, I've actually never tried the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Finish, but I do like to have a glowy base, and I did a tutorial a couple weeks back where how I get my glowy base, which is basically me mixing illuminator drops into my primer, not my foundation, my primer, and doing it that way. So I wanna see if this kind of gives the same effect. I wanna see like the glow I get with this. Whoa, it's huge. <laughs> it's absolutely massive. I was not expecting that. Okay, so I guess oh, I should put my hair further back. I'm guessing like you just need a crap ton for your face. I don't know, we'll see how this goes. I might be applying too much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out with a brush and see how I like it. Oh, I like the glow. This is less than a glow that I get from when I do it with my primer, but it's really nice. I wouldn't wear it on its own because it just is too shiny. And on the back of the bottle, apparently you can wear it on its own, under foundation, on top of foundation for highlighting. You can mix it into your foundation. I don't like mixing. I already mix my foundations as it is. I don't need to mix more product into it, but I kind of like the glow it gives for under a foundation. Okay, I need more. It's not moving, but that could be the primer. This is like honestly the perfect shade because my face is actually lighter than the rest of my body because I use so many chemical exfoliants on my face 
because acne. I watched someone's video and apparently they were getting a lot of hate comments because of their acne. I'm like, what kind of person are you to literally hate on someone's acne? Do you think people with acne don't wash their face? Like seriously, like we wash our face. We just got the shit end of the stick when it came to skin, like man. So I really like the glow. It's not something I'd wear on its own. I'm definitely using a foundation on top of this. And today I'm actually using a skin tint. So I picked up ColourPop's Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I went ahead and got this in the shade Light 8N. And this is from Target. I've never tried any of ColourPop's complexion products before. So I was curious, you know, and you go to Target and their ColourPop section's always really picked over. I got really lucky the day I walked in and it was all stocked with all the shades. And I was like, today's the day. All right, I'm buying this. This was $15. They have a really decent shade range with this for a skin tint. Because I feel like a skin tint, you don't need a lot of shades because it's a tint. So one shade can work for multiple tones in that shade range um but there's 20 different shades of this so i'm gonna just squirt a little bit on here that's definitely gonna be my shade and i'm gonna apply it with a brush so if it doesn't go very well with the brush i'll move on to using um a sponge but a sponge is not my favorite way to apply foundation or any product honestly for touch-ups, this is the best way for me, but when it comes to actually putting the product on your skin and blending it out for the first time, the brush is the way to go. You get more coverage, and I think the finish looks better than a sponge. And I, I still believe, I don't care what sponge it is, I swear the sponge eats all the product, and I don't feel the same way with a brush. Well, this is definitely a tint. <laughs> And I don't mind because I'm gonna take my concealer and kind of cover up my acne because summer is approaching and I definitely want some lighter like foundations, some skin tints and stuff to wear opposed to wearing the heavier foundations I choose to wear all the time. And my acne showing through is not the end of the world. Like if I'm not going full glam, then my acne can show through because it's my natural skin. And yeah, I'm not a fan of my acne. But at the same time, like, it's not going anywhere. So I might as well just get used to it. Okay, so I think that's the coverage we're gonna get. I like the way it looks on the skin. And of course, I'm going to powder my face. I am Texas heat, don't fuck around, okay? You have to set your face here. But I wanna quickly add some concealer. And I didn't pick one up, so I'm just gonna go in with my Dior. Another product I didn't pick up from the drugstore was a powder for my under eyes. I love using a pink powder under my eyes. I'm quickly going to apply this one. Now this one is from Jaclyn Cosmetics. It is the brightening pink shade. And y'all will be happy to know that I finally replaced it. It's just not here yet, okay? So when it's here, I will be using it if it's good. Fingers crossed. I'm not telling you what it is because I'm going to do a haul with that. And my Sephora haul is just taking a really long time to get here. That's what I get for ordering last minute. I just enjoy that brightening effect you get with the pink powder that's on trend now, but I've been doing it for years. I'm not trying to say like, oh no, I'm just saying like, it's funny to see like things that are already being done that get TikTok viral when it's like a lot of people already do that. Before I set the rest of my face, I gave in to one of these products. I gave in to more than one, right? I gave in and picked up some glow wands. Now these ones are from Flower Beauty. So the first one is going to be the Low Light Liquid Contour. So I picked up the shade Medium. I'm slightly concerned that this one <laughs> might be more bronzy. I, I don't like my contour to be warm. Let's see. Like apparently people find like this satisfying. Come on, come on. Dude, are you broken? Oh, there it comes. So there it is. So I don't want to like squeeze out too much, but I gave in and I don't have the Charlotte Tilbury one. That is warm. Is it? I don't like that color, but I'm going to use it anyway. It might blend out and look really nice. So I always do right here and I like to contour under here. I like my face to be sharp and pointy. Mm, okay, fine. I'm 
so annoyed. I don't like it already. I can feel it. Apparently I should have moved a lot quicker. It's like, I can already feel on my bones that I don't like this. This was $14.49, which obviously beats the ridiculous high price point of Charlotte Tilbury. Um, and I'm not talking shit about Charlotte Tilbury. I don't even have the contour wand, so I, I don't know how that one works. Okay, this actually looks nice in the viewfinder. Maybe I was just being stubborn. I don't know, honestly. But like, it is a high price point for those wands. And it's nice to see other brands make them, but at the same time, like, you're not original because you're copying Charlotte Tilbury. But I have like the highlight wands, I have the blush wands. I'm gonna let you on a little secret. I don't like the blush wands from Charlotte Tilbury, even though everyone else says they're absolutely amazing. They're not. It kind of almost looks muddy and I don't know, like this is a first impressions. So I'm obviously going to try these products out with other products because this is a, this is a new foundation, you know? So it could be the foundation. It could be the wand, you know, it could be the primer I used, even though I love those two primers, it could be the combination. So as of now, this is okay. Oh, yeah, I gotta blend under here too. It's harder to blend in than I thought it was going to be because I obviously haven't set my face. So I thought like liquid on liquid, it'd be so easy to blend, but I'm having to put a lot of pressure and like keep going over it. And I don't like to spend this much time blending. All right, next is the Flower Beauty Spotlight Liquid Highlighter. So this is also $14.49, comes in three different shades. This is the shade Opal. This is the only shade I could find. And I did pick these up from CVS, by the way but I think they might also have them at Ulta. I'm not quite sure. Oh, see that one came through real quickly. The other one was like, no. I might've gotten the wrong color cause it's, I can't really see it. Okay, so I like the wand. It gives you like a glow within. Like it's not this over shiny 2016 highlight going on, but it gives like this really nice like glow within, which I love. So I think I like this product. My first impressions of this product is great, you know? I could wear this and it could completely wear off in the next hour and I won't like it. Now this one is like, I picked this one up, but I do have Charlotte Tilbury glow wands, right? I don't have a shade like this from Charlotte Tilbury. So that's why I didn't have a problem picking it up. If it was the same shade, I probably would not have picked it up because like, if you have a dupe of something in your collection, let's be honest, okay? I have this e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I use it for a video, I've used about half the container, but I also own the Milk Hydro Grip, right? And I have the Jumbo one. If you have both of these in your collection and you spent, I don't remember how much this one was, but this one's drugstore, so it's obviously cheaper. This is a jumbo size, so this is pretty expensive. Which one are you gonna reach for on a daily basis? you're gonna reach for the one that you pay more money for. So why would I get a wand that's supposed to be a dupe in the same shade that I already own? You know? Because then after this video, I'd never use it again. I'd just reach for Charlotte Tilbury. But because this is a different shade, I'll definitely see myself using this often because this is a great natural highlighter for my skin tone to give me that beautiful glow within. Like, I just, I'm holding back. I wanna put more on my face. I, you know what I am? I'm gonna put some right here on my nose and I can put some above my eyebrow. Cause I just really like this very, very soft glow. It is absolutely gorgeous. Like I am loving it. It's McDonald's over here. All right, now it's time to set the face. So I've got two different products here. One to set the face and one a tool, which I probably should have already used and I completely forgot I got it. So the tool I got was the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder Puff. $4, right? Got this from Target. I bought this because I want more of these. You cannot buy the Tati Blendifuls anymore, and I love these. I've got three of these guys and three of the big ones. I wash them religiously, and I am scared for the day that they fall apart. So I'm looking for a dupe. This has like longer fibers than any of the other ones that I found on Amazon. So I'm hoping this is my later on in life replacement for my Tati ones. So I'm gonna be using this, and then I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. So this is a product that I picked up at HEB, and I picked this up because I like the idea of having a glowing setting powder, 
but all the ones I've tried are too glowy. Like you can even see some of the like mica reflex in it and you put them on your face and it's just too much for me, for my personal taste. So I've taken those powders and then kind of mixed them with a basic translucent powder to kind of like water down the highlight, if that makes sense. This highlight, the highlighter, this powder looks like it's gonna have that glow that I'm looking for, so fingers crossed. So I'm taking some on that poof and then I'm just gonna kind of pat it in. Okay, this is very, I like a sifter that closes, but some of them, like this one, it's a pain in the ass. You have to do that twisting motion to get some in the cap. But I'm just gonna kind of press it in on the center of my face and then I will use a brush to apply it to the perimeter of my face. Okay, so this is like thicker than the chalky one. Like, this one's a little bit more flexible. This one's a little bit stiffer, but maybe as I wash it and take care of it and use it more, it might be more flexible. I like the pointy tip, and I definitely prefer this over the ones I purchased from Amazon. Okay, fluffy brush. Now I'm gonna do the perimeter of my face. Okay, I like this. This powder definitely has the softer glow that I was looking for. Like in my tutorial Tuesday that I posted about my glowy base, I explained how I made my own glowy powder because of like, I don't want this ridiculous amount of glow all over my face. And that is what this powder is. I am so thankful I bought this. And I'll probably still use my little mixture I made, like, but it's nice that there's a, a powder out there that does give you a simple glow over like, like the Disco Diamond Troll. Like, I don't want to look like that. And I felt like a lot of those powders gave you that look. I am really happy with how this is turning out. Uh, except for the contour, I'm on the fence with that one. So before I like continue on with my face, I kind of need something on my lips because they kind of feel a little bit dry. Um, and I bought the NYX Fat Lip Drip Oil. This is in the shade Supermodel. And then I got the CoverGirl Yummy Gloss. I already know I love these, okay? This is like my fourth one. When I see these in stores and there's a shade I don't have, I need it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. It's not a want, it's a need. I love these, so I won't be using this, but I did haul this. These, like, the price range on these are different. Like, you, you go to CVS and they're $12.99. You go to HEB and they're $10.99. You go to Ulta, they're $11.99. Who knows? But these glosses are amazing, so I won't be trying it out because I already know, and it won't be a first impressions. So I picked up this NYX one off Amazon. It took two weeks to get here because apparently they are that popular right now. Damn, that's a wand. It's thick. Oh, and it's a thick, oh, I like thick lip oils. Oh, and it smells like sweet tarts, like the sour sweet tarts, like the hard ones, not like the chewy kind. That's nice. It gives you like a little hint of pink. It feels nice and thick. It feels hydrating. I love lip oils. I constantly have them in different places in my house because I'm constantly applying lip oils on my face. And honestly, I should stop buying them, but I can't. I did not pick up a bronzer, so I'm just gonna bronze my face super quickly. And honestly, it'll be a while before I look for a new bronzer because I love this one from Charlotte Tilbury. And the money I spent on it makes me wanna use it more because I wanna make sure I got my money's worth. But this one is my favorite because it applies so nicely on top of powder. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have a drugstore bronzer that I could use for this video that I like. Okay, so for blush. I picked up a blush from ColourPop and that is the Super Shock Blush in the shade Cheerio. And I got this because I absolutely love the ones I tried in the Snow White collection. So I had to get another. So I went to Target and they have like, it's so exciting to go to Target and there's ColourPop there. Like I cannot be the only one who gets excited and has to go look and buy something every time they go. These are $9 at Target. And so this one is like this deep berry shade and I've already swatched it. Like you can see that because the color is just, just gorgeous, but I haven't used it yet. And the ones in the Snow White collection were like really shimmery where you could almost use them as a highlighter. So I'm glad that this one looks like it's a little bit more satin. Like it's not too glowy. Man, I feel like my whole face is just, I should have just named this, you know, first impressions glowy face. Like I did not mean to buy everything glowy. See, and I'm hoping like this color goes with my eye look where I've like totally ruined everything I did. 
I absolutely love this shade. Now I'm gonna have to go back and buy more. Oh, let's just hope my husband's not watching this video because he's like, you don't have to go buy more. You have enough. That's why he's always telling me, you have enough. So it definitely has a glow, but it's nowhere near as like shimmery as the ones from the Snow White collection, which I like because the ones from the Snow White collection, I really liked the formula of them. I just had a hard time wanting to use it as a blush because it was more of a highlighter for me. Um, especially the lighter shade, that definitely would not work for me as a blush. Like that's definitely a highlight. And I like a good pink toned highlight sometimes. And sometimes like when I wear a glowy blush, I don't always add highlighter. And sometimes if my highlighter is like really overpowering, I don't add blush because I don't want to wear too much. So like today I'm gonna skip the highlighter because like everything else is so glowy. And I did add that spotlight, which I guess is a highlighter, but I'm not gonna add anything more because that is enough. So I'm just taking a fluffier brush to just kind of blend it out and diffuse the color a little bit more. So it's just a little bit more seamless. And that's definitely, this blush is bomb. I did not buy a setting spray, so I'm just gonna set my face with my usual Milk Hydro Grip. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eyes and then I will show you everything else I hauled. I'll probably apply a lippy as well because I don't think I applied, I don't think I purchased any lippies that was not a gloss or oil. All right, so it's been a little while since you guys saw me put all of the foundation and stuff on, and that is because kids, okay? I take care of my kids, gotta do all that stuff, and now I've just put them to bed. So it's been a few hours, but I do wanna still share my haul, but this was like my final look. And I will say, I don't know if it's the skin tint. I don't know, I'm gonna have to like wear it in different ways and possibly without that powder but I feel shinier than usual. Like I don't feel like super oily, but I definitely feel I'm inching past the glow I like, if that makes any sense. But let's go ahead and jump into the other things that I hauled. So we talked about the ColourPop skin tint. We had the Halo Glow Filter, the two products from Flower Beauty, a ColourPop blush, but then I also got a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. Now, this is in the shade Roy G. Bib, and it is a beautiful pink. And I could not help myself because, like, it is gorgeous. I've already swatched it. Like, I cannot buy new makeup and not swatch it. But it is, like, this really pretty pastel pink. It's not showing up on camera the way I'm seeing it in person. But this was $7 at Target. But because I like the way pinks look with greens, I went ahead and also picked up the Fresh Greens palette. So this is also at Target. And I think these nine pen palettes you can pick up at Target are like only available at Target. I haven't seen anything with, like this on their website and I don't go to Ulta enough to see if it's there. But this is what the palette looks like. So you got lots of deep greens and you got some lighter greens down here. But this palette was $14. I also already talked about hauling this yummy gloss. I absolutely love these. And then I'm gonna share with you some of the online purchases I got. Now, these are not drugstore, but it's only a couple items. And since I'm doing a Sephora haul next week, I wanna go ahead and share these with you now in this haul. But I did pick up the Nomad Cosmetics Royal Europe palette because everything that I've gotten from Nomad Cosmetics, I absolutely love. So this palette is gorgeous. It has a nice mixture of different formulas from mattes to shimmers and some duo chromes in there. So this is definitely one of their pricier palettes, but I cannot wait, I cannot wait to play with this. The only thing is, it's like, I really wanna play with this, but all of these colors kind of scream fall to me just because they're so like jewel toned. But I will definitely be playing with that soon. And then I'll be definitely using this a lot in the fall for sure. But this palette, like I said, is got more formulas than their previous palette, so it's more expensive than their previous palettes as well. So this was $57. So these next two products, I'm sure you've seen a lot of people talk about them, but they're the blush palettes from Blend Body, Blend Body, fucking A. They're from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. So I got the Bare Cheeks, which is a more neutral, soft blush palette. And that is what this one looks like. 
and it got the Juicy Cheeks. Now both of these retail for $32 each and both like each separate palette has eight shades. So this one's definitely on the bold side which is the blushes that I prefer and I cannot wait to use this palette all summer long. I know I'm gonna love this palette. I've already actually used this palette a couple of times and it is great. Now, I did go and pick up a couple products from Ulta, and one of them was from Kapari. And I really wanted to pick this product up during the 21 Days of Beauty sale, but it sold out. And it was like on sale for 50% off, and I was a little frustrated because I wanted it, and it sold out like that. So this is the Kapari Body SBF 45, and it's like a rose gold, like shimmer body product, but it's got SBF in it. I'm like, yes, okay, yes, 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 yes. Now this was $39. They also have a gold shade, and for some strange reason, the gold one is 50 SPF. But I like the rose gold tone, plus it looks nice on my skin, so I can't wait to try this out. I also got a tanning mitt. Okay, I self tan, I spray tan, and I actually stopped spray tanning, so that way I can actually do a tutorial Tuesday for you to kind of show you how to self tan without streaks. So that should be coming next Tuesday. But part of having a streakless tan is having the right kind of mitt. And so this one's from uh, this one's from Saint Tropez. This is a $10 mitt, it's a little bit pricey. The one I usually purchase, it's $5, was not in stock. So this mitt has, you have, when you're buying like a tanning mitt, they have different ones that are kind of like spongy. This one's kind of got the material of like a poof. And this does help for a streak free tan. So I got one of these. Now I absolutely love Truly Beauty. I've, I believe I've unboxed like a subscription box and a mystery box already on my channel. But they came out with these products and now I can't find them online, but I picked them up inside of Ulta and I got two of their body washes. So I got the Mighty Tidy body wash, which has the same scent as the uh, Bunza Glory line. And I love that scent. So I got this one. And then I also got the Kuka wash. So this one's like for ingrown hairs. And I have a really big problem personally with ingrown hairs actually on my like shins, like my legs below, below my kneecaps. Like I don't know why. So I'm hoping this might help a little bit because I know the Kuka oil does help that for me. So I got this one as well. And then I got a re, what? Something leaking. And finally, the last product I picked up is my favorite natural lashes. So these are the Naked Ardells and this is in the style of 421. I always buy these in a four pack. If I am doing a look that's minimal, these are lashes. I'm going for a natural look. These are lashes. If I am like, if I've got no makeup on, but I have to leave the house for errands and I want to look put together, I put these on. I have really bad lashes and this just gives me the oomph I need. And they, they look very natural, almost like if you get lash extensions. So these are my go-to and I like to always have them in my drawer. So I recently ran out, so I recently picked some up. And, on, and you can actually get these on Amazon a lot cheaper than you can get them on Ulta, by the way. So it's like $9 and some change on Amazon. And I believe like at Ulta, it's like $14.99. So All right. So that is my first impressions and haul. Um, I will go ahead and update you on these products. I want to start updating my products more as a seasonal thing. Um, I was going to do it monthly, but I'm not purchasing that much when it comes to products. So I know that next week I'm gonna be posting like a spring recap of the products that I liked and the products that I don't like. And then I will do the same thing in the summer, the fall, and the winter. So stay tuned for that. But until next time, bye y'all.